welcome to the continuation of Season 2 of the Dungeons & Delinquents Podcast, a podcast that features all the lovely dumbasses over here at No No Noah. One player leaves, another enters. Our party consists now of Dorothea Parsnips, a human monk played by Zelda, Wilhelm Helmsman, a dwarven cleric played by No No Noah himself, Yurang Yurang, a human wizard played by Mullet 100, and our newest addition, Bacchus Rakatansky, a dwarven barbarian played by Sir Nathan has joined our misadventures. All our dumbasses are still guided by large term, our lovely and punishing DM. A darkness surges in a distant land. Can we withstand it? On the other That's side, our branch. on the other side of the hill, if you keep making Final Fantasy references, I'm going to kill your character outright. <laughs> At the top, the... I ask Fail to help me. Can we see the person talking? Guys, I think I'm about to be making a new character. I think you're about to be murdered. I need you to roll a d20 six times. Six <laughs> times? Well, luckily there's six d20s in front of you. There sure are, actually. There's also... Hey, Noah. Hang One, on. two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh God, you're rolling a new three, character. Four, five, six. So, I just want to tell all of you this right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We already... We're doing the one shot, right? Riley? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're, we, me and Brian oh, have awesome. already done this, and we're just going to redo it, but the way this podcast episode will be structured is that <laughs> at some point in the one shot, Sean pisses Riley off so goddamn much for all the metagaming Final Fantasy references he makes <laughs> that he says, I'm done with you. Roll a new character. I'm going to cut it right there, and we're going to just slide in this entire episode <laughs> and we'll just say I'm just gonna like at the top say Iwasawa's dead long live Bacchus Rakatansky and then that'll be Last how we introduce that I, I will say okay. it is gonna be a little different than the original one shot that's fine that's I'm fine. cool with that okay I'm gonna read the story so far bullshit nobody talk oh, I'm just gonna talk. this will be a clip so that's already been a clip. That's the worst I know, part. but it'll be another one so that, like, it's uh, another recap. Okay, uh, one day you found yourselves all making your way to the capital city of Forthalia, Durmstrag, for one reason or another. Some answering the king's call for adventure, some answering a court order, some ensuring others answered their court order, while yet others made it here sleeping on a merchant cart. Though all of you quickly found yourselves in the king's festival to find the new heroes, uh, medallions in hand. After the king's announcement for a new quest from the gods, all of you heard the voice of the goddess in your head, announcing your presence as heroes. In the king's castle, king's, King Vostath ensured all of you were the heroes before officially issuing you, issuing you all the quests and asking for the goddess's guidance. Upon asking for the help, the goddess Ui showed herself and gave a bit more insight into her request to investigate an evil presence to the south of the current country. The next day, the king gave you resources and set you on your journey. Leaving the capital, you found yourselves face-to-face with Ui, where she informed you she would join you on on the journey. On the way south, we pointed out strange, pointed out a strange feeling area that reminded her of the evil in the south. There, you found Katsu the goblin scouting the same area that you were all investigating. Upon clearing out the corrupted goblins, hobgoblins, and cult fanatic, you all began searching the whole room. Though when the monk touched the orb in the room, they found themselves being controlled, and a voice that wasn't their own came forth and introduced itself to the heroes as a new force that ruled the, this world. Ui's blessing on the medallion allowed for the monk to break free from the control and for Ui to send it away to uh, heaven for analysis and safekeeping. Upon clearing out the cave, Katsu led all of you to his tribe to meet the goblin lord, Boblin. There, they were given his thanks, in a sense, and sent on their merry way. Finally, as night fell, you all reached the village of Tonthorn. And as they drifted to sleep, they heard a loud explosion from the nearby mo- mine at the Lonely Peak. The next day, everyone took their time to explore the village a bit before taking the time to accept a quest from a miner to look for the missing hired adventurers in the mine, as well as clear out any monsters in the mine. In the mine, they found the adventurer Thorina and her group. With the help of Thorina's group, the clay golems were defeated, and upon defeating the last one, Therina and her group left you all for whatever loot was to be found in, sight, found in the room. In the center, you found yourselves being transported to the top of the mountain where you met the Wizard of the Lonely Peak. You all and Ui informed the wizard of the situation, where he also chastised the ranger for holding on to the cultist book and told you to find the Pantherian Masami-Ja in the city of Brewstone. 
Returning you all found, returning you all to the base of the mountain, the head of the mining camp quickly tried to con you on your payments before finally you all retired uh, to the inn in Tonthorn again. The next day, as you all began to trek to Brewstone, you find Thorina there willing to expedite your journey as she is heading in the same direction looking for work. Along the way, you run into the wizard of Lonely Peak, who upon seeing the wizard of the party transports all of you to the wizard's hometown, Millstone, with the knowledge that his mother was about to pass. There you, all, there you all stop the degradation of his mother's health and stop the people of the town from unleashing the evil that the wizard's father had sacrificed himself for. Finally reaching the city of Brewstone, all of you parted ways with Thorina. Looking through the city, you found yourself face to face with the monk's sister. Rejoice at seeing her again after the, for the first time in years. Upon hearing from the sister's husband and daughter uh, that she had been kidnapped, the monk went to where her sister was being held hostage and saved her. After that, everyone followed the cleric to a place of worship for his goddess, Athena, where upon beginning to pray, everyone was pulled into his mind, where they met Athena and had the chance to spar with her. Upon giving some words of wisdom after sparring, everyone woke up from the mindscape. After leaving and exploring the market for a while, the ranger was surprised by their brother and was invited to go home to the nearby village of Pulsfeld. On the way to Pulsfeld, they were met by Nu, the court magician, as well as two diplomats from the Pantherian Federation. They all decided to join the party at the ranger's family home. There at night, they are met with an assassination attempt of the ranger's family by Count Balsmuth. This turned into an international affair due to the diplomat presence and caused the counts to be executed, as well for Nyu, with the approval of the king, to appoint the ranger's brother, Tenkik, as the new count. With that, everyone was then tasked to guard the ranger's brother from a potential attack while he gave a speech to the people of Brewstone, Though the party also managed to unknowingly anger Ui over a sensitive topic, where she then showed the party the past of this place and what her true wishes were. The party then decided to split. Two of them managed to follow Ui and apologize, promising to bring her creation back from the brink of extinction, while the other group scouted the venue for the speech. As the speech began, everyone managed to meet up just as the speech began, where they successfully pr protected the new count. Afterwards, they were confronted by Masami Ja who was also contracted to protect the venue. Following her to her house, it was revealed that they could potentially see what was going on in the south with Masami's magic, as long as they recovered some of her supplies from bandits while she prepared the rest of the materials. Afterwards, the party swiftly recovered the materials and brought them back to Masami with Nyu in tow. Using the cultist book and following the flow of magic from it, they saw the source of the evil in the south surrounded by many cultists performing a ritual. With that, the source cut off Masami's magic. The party was then ushered to the south by Nyu, who also employed Thorina to drive the carriage along. Arriving at a deserted village, the horses refused to move ahead. After looting the village, the party attempted to move to the south, where they quickly found themselves back in the village. After many attempts, the party found out the way through was to walk backwards. Upon doing so, the party found themselves in a clearing that was the border between Forthalia and the Great Desert. In that clearing, they found themselves face to face with several zombies and a mage eater, which they all dispatched with relative ease. Unopposed, the party reached the way south and finally, through a passage between cliffs, reached all the cultists performing the ritual. Defeating all the mages, doing the ritual, the party unknowingly finished the ritual to summon the evil. There, the party found themselves face to face with the goal of their quest. And with a few swift clashes and quips, the party found themselves with the wizard unconscious and impaled with a rapier and the ranger at low health. Wisely, the party chose to retreat and quickly found themselves back in the village where they left on Thorina's carriage. As the party rode back to Brewstone, they found themselves with ample time to process what had happened. It was there that Ui informed them that they need to go to the realm of the gods to convince the others to allow her to intervene. She told them, while she can easily move herself from this realm to the realm of the gods, she cannot simply snap mortals between the realm like herself. Therefore, they must travel to one of her domains and use it as a gateway. They were given a choice where they must either rebuild Ui's influence in her domain, where Bruce Down now is, or travel to the capital of the Pantherian Federation. The, part, the party pondered this amongst themselves and ultimately decided to travel to the Pantherian Federation. Upon arriving back in Brewstone, they were immediately met by Masami Shida, who immediately started bombarding the par party with questions uh, about what, ha what was happened in the South, claiming the flow of this world of magic itself feels different, like something sinister is hiding just beyond the veil. Though, before the party could answer, Nyu came and chastised, chastised Masami for talking about this in public, 
instructing everyone to wait until they were back at the mansion. At the mansion, they explained what happened in detail to Neo, Masami, Tenkik, and Therina, explaining that now they must go to the Realm of the Gods. Upon giving the order, Tenkik informed the party that, that it would make, take one day to sufficiently supply the cart for their journey. After a day of preparation, the party found themselves face to face with King Vostath the day they were to leave. He informed the party he was also traveling to the Pantheon Federation for business with their leadership, stopping at the Shining Rose City on the border for a few days uh, to check in on it. He then proposed that the party travel together with him as to decrease their odds of bandit attacks. The party accepting his proposal quickly found themselves on the move where they encountered some bandits that they skillfully dispatched, as well as some goblins that they passed peacefully by at the mention of Boblin's name. After a long journey, the, the mountains that had been in the distance were now towering over the party. As they closed in on the mountains, they found the, that, they were, that there was a massive gouge splitting the mountain range. In the setting sun, they were finally approaching the Shining Rose City. Before turning in for the night, the party chose to explore the city, following Therina. Eventually, they found themselves in the center of the city, crossing the border into the Pantherian Federation, where, the, where bells began to tell, began to toll, informing the whole country that their goddess and creator had returned. The party then quickly turned in for the evening, as they saw many Pantherians about to stop what they were doing at the toll of the bells. The next morning, the party was given an opportunity to meet the dual governors of the city, one for the Pantherian side and one for the Forthalian side. In the... In this meeting, they were given a task to help the guards of both sides root out the underground, inf underground thief influence on the city without the bureaucrats. During this task, they found one of them had been robbed and chased after the thief, leading them to a rundown shack, which turned out to be one of the hideouts for the thieves. They cleared it out, defeating all that opposed, it, all that opposed them, while Murray and Wilhelm cleared the basement, Dorothea and Yurang cleared the upstairs. This ended with Wilhelm assisting the fight by throwing an axe through the floorboards and into the boss. After exploring the rooms once more, they found a secret hatch leading to a secondary part of the basement that led down a long winding tunnel. The party followed the tunnel down to an opening where they fought several more thieves and the assumed leader of the thieves. After defeating them, the party explored the room for a moment where Wilhelm found the Bloody Desire, a weapon bound to his blood, along with a cultist book in the room. Afterwards, while Yurang went back to the guards, to get help along with the thieves' master map, Wilhelm and Murray pushed forward. Pushing forward, they found themselves face to face with more thieves, though these ones wished rather to negotiate, especially since they had taken Dorothea captive. Wilhelm and Murray were taken to negotiate with the boss of this base, where he revealed the origins of the thieves' guild and how they were an originally intended to help citizens instead of steal and distribute addictive drugs for profit. During this time, uh, Yurang was leading the guards to the base the rest of the party was currently in. The party then agreed to let the thieves escape in exchange for him being in their debt. As the party was leaving the city into the Pantherian nation, they found a box of drugs along with the note that they decided to destroy. Later, later the party found themselves at another village named Ken, where they joined in the festivities until they found themselves dealing with issues with another party that was protecting the village which led to the Nalina incident. At the end, the party found that uh, the other party had a member that had decided to become a cultist of the bad person. That's it. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, the real person we have to learn from is Bacchus. Bacchus, are you okay? Did you get all that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, oh, don't feel bad. You're technically speaking, your character himself wouldn't actually know all this shit, anyways. Bacchus exists. Yeah. Bacchus be like, mm, uh, exists, but this doesn't have anything if you to do with me. Been explicitly with the party, you wouldn't. Your character himself wouldn't really know all the shit. It's fine for you, you yourself, to know, but your character would just kind of be like, "Hey, you guys are fucking weirdos." <laughs> I am my character. I'm in the zone now, boys. <laughs> Alright, are we ready for the pain to start? I mean, it's yeah. objective, hopefully, but yes. I mean, you know, I'm because apparently I'm always planning to kill all of you guys, so yeah. Mm. Please. <laughs> well, home Helm's been needs to die. Come on. Make it so. Oh, Is this a foreshadow, Riley? Are you foreshadowing? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, dead? I'm foreshadowing how uh, I've always been planning to kill you guys this whole time. Bro, listen, <laughs> I don't know about you, but Inix Silk, bro. <clears throat> Inix Silk. <laughs> <coughs> ah, fuck. Same. Okay.
All right, let's do this shit. Nice. Having come back from a certain realm, Wilhelm and Yurang find themselves sitting in the carriage again, now with a now awake Dorothea and a very distant seeming Ray. Having gotten the knowledge and uh, the knowing remark from Ui, you have all been given time for the last couple hours in the carriage. What do you guys want your characters to have done during the uh, downtime? Sleep. Sleep? The downtime? I think I was already unconscious, so... Like, yeah, your character was happy. asleep this whole time. When I mean, are you not unconscious? You know, I'm either eating bread or I'm unconscious, and honestly, both options are You might be a diabetic, cool. considering your pattern you, of behavior. Are, are you always unconscious because you're allergic to bread? <laughs> oh, no! That was where the diabetic was coming from. Too many carbs oh, no. equal long sleep time. Oh, no. I might be allergic to bread. <laughs> That's not going to stop you from eating it as you have a what mouthful fucking, of it right now. I was like, <laughs> I'm literally eating bread. I Wouldn't that be a fucking <laughs> twist, though? Okay, uh, do you guys, want, you guys want your characters to have done anything during this downtime? It's just sleep, dude. No, just sleep, 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 sleep. And, uh, Wilhelm, do you want your character to do a done anything? I'm going to hold my wrist seductively. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Um, Start slapping my veins in my hands. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps mm. look for bat shit. <laughs> no, not November. No, not November. <laughs> you're, in a fucking car you're in a character. You're just looking off in the distance, like, hmm. Mm. Mm. Saw some bats earlier. That, that brown pile over there is that bat shit. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it's just deer. It's deer, dude. It's deer shit. It's deer now. Damn. Do you so, need my as you're all... cunning to realize if it's shit or not? <laughs> Sorry, all right, as you. you're all absorbed in your task, you find yourselves quickly ap approaching the next village on your journey as the sun sets. As the convoy slows to a halt at the outskirts of this village, Therina looks to you all and says, Looks like we're stopping for the night. While you were all doing your things on the way here, I was chatting with Lady Ui, and she agreed that it's probable that no matter the outcome of your talks with the gods, the rest of my people will likely be called to fight on the behalf of their parents. While our species is not large, Unfortunately, many of our parents are not opposed to using us as their divine pawns. So they don't have to directly get involved. So once I take care of the horses and carriage, I, I'm going to be spending the rest of the night uh, training. It's unsure of times like these, I wish I knew who my celestial parent was. No matter who it is, I could at least get some semblance of peace by knowing. Now then, I'm sure you all want to see the village. I'll leave you all to it. And with that, Therina gives you a very fake smile, as if to say, don't worry about it. And before any of you can react, Murray hops out of the carriage and darts into the village, leaving you all behind. What? Damn. Bitch. Fucking cats. <laughs> Fucking cats, dude. Honestly. Uh, I Well, I'm going to hop out of this carriage, I guess. And I'm assuming I have to follow the cat for some <clears throat> yeah, odd let's, reason. Yeah, let's head into the, oh, let's there, head into there. the village. You're going to try and catch up to the cat? Oh, yeah. I'm on I, I mean, I'm strutting. It's awkward that the cat would do such a thing so brazenly. All right, I'm grabbing the wizard and carrying it with me. No one can stop me. And I, and I can't say no because, you know, <laughs> weak as fuck. No consent anymore here. <laughs> oh, God, don't say it like you, that. Dude. I grab his legs, you grab his upper torso. We got this. All right, let's go. All right, uh, Dorothea, yeah, you just soldier carrying me. Oh, All okay. right. As they're darting off, Bacchus, you find yourself kind of strolling <laughs> into town. You uh, you see this large carriage and them carrying the wizard like that into town. A couple midgets carrying. <laughs> you're you're coming in here, going knowing this is the next stop on your journey for your signings. What would you like to the do? Book signing tour. Well, you know, this ain't my first rodeo. Uh, I've I've seen a wizard being bridal carried before. That's no big deal. So uh, you know, I'm just gonna, gonna go into the, uh, the 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 what's it the tavern there, and I'm gonna you know see if anybody wants a uh, wants a book sign. You know. Yeah, I will tell you this. They the uh, the the tavern owner goes, oh, oh, you're 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 the guy. You're you're the guy. Uh, I I think the shop owner said. The, the, he's gonna have you do your signing tomorrow, during the morning. You want me? You want me to go get him? You want me to go get him? Hey, son of a bitch! I talked to this guy, this joker, just the other day, and now he's rescheduling me. And I say, eh, "No, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'll do it tomorrow." <laughs> 
<laughs> she gives you a slight chuckle. She goes, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Your your drinks are free tonight. Hey, look at that. Thanks. I appreciate that, chum. That's good. All right. While Bacchus is settling in, what? how's the carrying of the wizard going? <laughs> I took his oh, shoes. Lost. <laughs> Wait, you took his shoes? I took his shoes. How many shoes this guy got? <laughs> I don't know. As, as is, guys... there a, is there a suspended power line somewhere for this joke to... <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a lot Fuck! of trees, though. Nah, it's not good enough. Eh, it's not worth it, yeah. So, as not you guys get to the village, uh, still trying to chase after Mariah, you find that you can't see her anymore. Mostly because of the fact that because this is a Pantherian village, it is mostly cat people. Oh, they're all cats, dude. This feels oddly racist. It's fine. Wait, is it specious at that point? I think so. Xenophobic. Yeah. The cats look the same. I think we're already just <laughs> trying to go find a mate, guys. <laughs> Probably. Oh, no. All right. What would you guys like to do? I, I, um, I, I don't know. I guess I'm going to leave the wizard here. I'm just going to, like, scout around. Are you just going to toss me on the ground? No. I set you down, Jimmy. I don't want to play with you anymore. I'm gentle. <laughs> you set him down, but Wilhelm, but Wilhelm's still holding him, too. Oh. I will shoulder this load. Wait, wait hang on. What side was Zelda holding? I had the legs. No, you had the shoulders. You, you both had my legs? So you're both just dragging him? <laughs> Even better. A true soldier carry. I didn't realize. I, oh, well, anyways, so I set one of his feet down, and I'm like... Wilhelm's got you, and then I go run around and ask uh, people if they've seen a crazy cat lady with a snake. <laughs> I sneeze on the know. wizard. No. Was that you sneezing? Yeah, it was me sneezing. Oh, okay. They kind of just look at you, Dorothy, and go, no, we haven't. Oh. You, you realize oh. this This is a village of Pantheon. We haven't seen any crazy one, though. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. You. I feel like a cat and a snake shouldn't be hanging out. There might be a cucumber situation. Oh. Cats are scared of cucumbers. It was not naughty. Shut the fuck up. Because they're shaped like snakes. Yeah. Yes. Um. It's a fear I response. will say it is getting close to, to night now. So. Shit. I can't see in the dark, dude. I can! I know there's a lot of people starting to turn in for the night. Cool. Does that okay. mean I can climb to the nearest rooftop and look out longingly? Sure, Bacchus. How's your uh, how's your drinking going in the uh, tavern? Uh, it's it's good. I'm just like having a drink yeah, by myself, and uh, you know, uh, just minding my own business. My That's own great. Business. Okay. I would like to climb okay. the tavern roof and then somehow fall through it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> This poor <laughs> tavern over here, so fucked up. As you're on the, the tavern roof, as Wilhelm has gotten onto the tavern roof somehow. I threw him up there. Can I, I threw him up there? there? Okay. Let's make this epic. Yeah, make a strength Where's... roll. Alright, cool. Yeah. Oh 19. god. He's definitely on the roof. Too hard, too hard! You'll hear a little... Hear a little... <laughs> Bacchus, you can hear some thuds on the roof, and... You hear a, a young, you hear the tavern owner's child is going, Mom, is it Christmas already? <laughs> Let's go. Loud crashing noises. Oh, I, uh, I love Christmas and I haven't been paying attention to like, uh, you know, the seasons. I've been busy, been traveling around. So I'm like, hey, uh, Mom. Is it Christmas? Because, like, I I didn't get anybody anything yet. You hear it kind of just go, no. <laughs> kind of ways away from that. Oh. What's going on okay. there? Uh -oh. Wilhelm, make a dexterity check. Ah, you mean fail a dexterity check? <laughs> Without pleasure. Oh, you got this. I, I got a 10. <laughs> And the modifier. Suddenly, you guys hear you hear uh, a loud crashing sound and uh and some uh, and some tumbling and a loud thud on the ah, ground as uh, Wilhelm no. has rolled off of the 
off the tavern roof. What? I rolled oh, off. God. Yes. Oh, thanks for sparing the roof, dude. Fucking um, ow! That roof was thatch. How the fuck did I fall off it? Should have fallen through it. I'm running Shit. over to to help Wilhelm up off the floor. Don't right. touch me. Okay, I'm sorry. You're right. What are you doing? I'm gonna go in for some brew. You're going for some brew? Yeah. Shut up, you don't have shoes. <laughs> Still as soon as you walk in, uh Barner kinda looks over Bacchus and goes, Hey! No shoes, no service. I'm a wizard, they're invisible shoes. Oh shit. Listen, I won't fall for that twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the tallest one here. What do you mean? <laughs> Excuse you. I am of average height. Oh, you're the size of my cock, my guy. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of my tavern. No, fine. I have my own brew. Oh my god, that line killers. Oh fuck. I won't fall for that twice. <laughs> Fucking put that on anything. That's fucking catch up to any situation, dude. That's fucking amazing. I'm gonna fall for that twice. Matt, did you do your homework last night? Listen, I'm not falling for that shit twice. <laughs> All right, it's, it's starting to get pretty laid out. Uh, Bacchus, the uh, the uh, tavern owner, she kind of looks at you and goes, "You know, we have a uh, we have room for you for the night." Uh, the shopkeeper did say to make sure we had a room available for you. I say, well, golly, this kind of hospitality, you don't get this, uh, uh, and then I just kind of trail off and just, like, walk upstairs and, like, <laughs> oh, no. go into whatever room. <laughs> the entire time you're trailing off she, the, uh, the tavern or she's just, like, staring at you, like, where's he going with this? And then as you just disappear, she's like, what? <laughs> Holding on to every word. <laughs> The most important word that's going to be said. Well, next. now that my hip is fucking broken, I need to dull it with a central nervous depressant. Can I have I some can, alcohol? I Let's walk you. in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you going to give the wizard your shoes back? So we passed the wizard. Oh, right. right. And the we, wizard can't we grabbed be served him. because it doesn't No, have I grabbed shoes. him and I carried him in holding his shoes. <clears throat> and then I go, they're not on his feet right now, but he does have shoes. I would like to set up a ploy where my feet look like his feet and I'm under his skirt. <laughs> I like your idea better. Okay, we're changing it. How does that kick out? You can still he see my beard feet. dangling underneath his dress, but we'll just call that pubic hair. <laughs> the shop owner, uh, she just kind of, or the tavern owner, she just kind of sighs and just goes, fucking drunks. <laughs> hey, I'm not drunk yet, says the crotch. <laughs> uh, I slapped my crotch area. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> oh no. I cast thermology on his stupid fucking nose and make it two times what its is... normal size. Oh my god. Can you do that? Aim, you might hit my dick instead. <laughs> No, that's a that's a cheap shot from down here. Plus, there's not much of it. I might miss. Oh no. Oh. All right, I I retreat from the lower part of this wizard's tunic, mm -hmm. and I appear at the bar. And yeah, let's get our drink on. Okay. I just <laughs> stare at her awkwardly. She goes, "What do you drunks want?" Do you have I'm a breathalyzer sober. spell or something? But I how do you plan know I'm on being drunk? drunk. I've seen how you people act. You people, miss? This is... Oh, is it because we're short? It's 220 right now. You can't call As us I, like, you people. Slam, I slam the, my hand on the countertop, but I can barely see over the countertop. You guys just act like drunks. This is how drunks act. I inhale deeply oh. and go, ask me anything. Oh, oh shit. In real distance from here to the moon oh, what's the meaning fuck. of life the universe and everything 42 <laughs> okay yeah they, they pass cool yay we're not drunk i inhale deeply but let's become drunk there was another dwarf here wasn't there 
Maybe. We got a bunch of people who pass through here. Hmm. Okay. Well. That's an understandable and intelligent response. I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I would right, like a dragon's dick drink, please. Ooh, what is that? I, I don't get that know. ordered very often. It just makes your throat oh, burn. Oh, yeah, I really want one of those. Sounds fun. Good. She's like, okay, two dragon's dicks. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you see her uh, going to town, um, making you guys some very superfluous drink. Uh, you see her pouring a bunch of cinnamon in it, too. Oh, God. Ooh. She hands you this, uh, this drink that would be somewhat reminiscent of Fireball. You mean like da 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 or do you mean the drink? Yes. Oh, okay. I mean the drink Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. Thank you. This isn't what I ordered, though. You ordered dragon stick. It's like this. This is dragon this stick. Is got, oh, got okay. Dragon stick. Thought, okay. Glug glug. Choo choo. <laughs> Here's a coin for you. Glug <laughs> glug. Choo choo. Here's a coin for you. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, he's paying for mine too, by the way, as I like walk off with the glass <laughs> to a table. Everyone gets the song once. Here's the other coin. I'm not singing. <laughs> okay. You're angry. What do you What do you want to do? Um, oh, just follow. Just follow. Whatever they're doing. <clears throat> okay. The The owner kind of looks. He goes uh, after a bit and kind of goes, "Look." I'm closing up the bar soon. Are you guys wanting a room, or, or or what are you guys doing? I can sleep anywhere, lady. Well, so Therina and really Murray are still fucking missing. Do we need? To, do we really need to go find them right now, or can we sleep? Let's just take a nap. They'll show up in the morning. I cannot Let's... get any sort of sleep advice from you. I was talking to what the wizard. What do you wizard. mean? You're always oh. asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah. I mean, they can't really get far without the carriage. And if they do get far, we'll find them eventually. <laughs> well, I'm going to rent a room. Sweet. Sounds good. That'll be one yeah. coin. Okay. There you go. One I'm coin for a room down. and a drink? Yes. These prices. This is called the One Coin Tavern, dude. Probably. Small village. It's not the dollar snacks. store. <laughs> well, that makes me very Tavins. excited about the bed I'm about to sleep on for one whole dollar. I wonder how much the <laughs> prostitutes are in this place. I'll take uh, a room as well. Oh, so I, I tip. I tip her. I tip her one gold coin. Okay. He goes. You get the good cush bed. Oh, oh hell yeah! Oh, it's extra stinky in that room. <laughs> oh no. Uh. That reminds me of the tunnels. Okay, so you guys are going to bed? I suppose. All right. Okay, um, yeah. Cool. So at this fine. point, sneeze, and it is revealed sneeze, sneeze. that I am just the loudest snorer like, <laughs> oh in the world. Just... And it just shakes the whole tavern. Everybody can hear it. Everybody can feel it. It's like an earthquake in here. Oh. It's just a disaster. <laughs> My right. eyes are bloodshot as I stare into the ceiling for the third consecutive <laughs> hour. <laughs> I, uh, I'm 100% asleep and don't notice anything, so let's go. I put on my wizard ears. You put what? <clears throat> you can't just share those with me. Hello? <laughs> I'm sleeping in your bed, by the way. I didn't pay for a room. <laughs> <laughs> I just literally followed you into your room and I was like, all right, I'll sleep here. So technically I paid for your room. <laughs> yeah, you did. Let's go. All right. It's it's the next morning. We all are awake. Some a little more rested than others. We've all had a long rest wait. for one person. Do I hear the exact moment when the snoring stops? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes. I would like to stand outside the room, axe drawn, bloodshot eyes. Hold on. And you know when it stops. 
because you hear a uh, banging on a door. Bacchus, you, the door to your room is being banged on, and they say, Mr. Bacchus, Mr. Bacchus, it's, come on, book signing. Okay, I, uh, I open the door, and I'm wearing... Wearing like one of those old timey nightgowns and like droopy uh, like hats <laughs> that people used to sleep in, and uh, I'm like, huh, what? Sir, you're gonna be late for the book signing in an hour. That was actually uh, <laughs> an hour. Just, yes, that's all the time I need, baby. I've got all the time in the world, and I just uh, just close the door, and immediately, <laughs> immediately, just more snoring. Like it takes no time at all. Like literally, the door is closed. Bam! Just more snoring happens. The guy starts banging on the door again. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I come out of the room, it, it, like like. Two minutes later, um, just fully dressed, like beard, pristinely braided. Everything is just perfect, flawless. No, nothing is out of place. And I'm just like, all right, I'm ready. Anyway, <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry, I have to compose myself now. <laughs> he's just the shop owner. Is just like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come now, come now. I've paid the uh, the shop owner for the tavern owner for your for your breakfast already. Oh, Ooh. this is just the best. This is terrific. I really, is, and I just trail off again and I start walking away. <laughs> with that one, like, what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, the rest of you. A pair of eyes ascend from the darkness in the corner of the hallway. <laughs> and free breakfast? <laughs> So, I'm still asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so once the wizard gets up, I'll, I'll I'll like be like, oh yeah, um, it's time to wake up, and I'll roll out of bed onto the floor. I use my no, dwarf, I, oh. I use my dwarven credit card to unhinge the lock that's really cheap in this cheap hotel, and, and open their there door. Yeah, there are okay. locks yeah. in the doors. What yeah, are you yeah. Yeah, yeah, little yeah. little were... shitty ones like you'd like use to keep chickens. Oh, like in. One, it's a it's a one point in. <laughs> one, well, the one shop stop. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, dude. The door to your room is open, and all you see is me, angry, <laughs> uh, awake. Um, <laughs> you rang in a uh, Dorothea, aka. I literally AKA. comment. I go, hey. Why? No, 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 no! Hold up, 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 hold up! You guys are still asleep. <laughs> oh, we're asleep. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I want both of you to make a uh, just a perception check. <laughs> oh, let's go bonus. All right, we're rolling. I got a twelve. I don't think perception. I can do anything to. Was that like wisdom? Yeah. Okay, Correct. so I got a thirteen. Oh, I'm learning. Wow, I'm good at this shit. Let's go, dude. <clears throat> Me on episode one, not even going to be able to hit a board. This is going to be like episode <laughs> like thirty something. You guys, uh, <laughs> <clears throat> you guys just both wake up like, hmm. I feel a disturbance in the force. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong, dude. I look at the wizard whose feet are in my face currently, and I go, "Something's not right." <laughs> <laughs> One of us is dead wrong. <laughs> Feel a presence in my soul, okay? Sorry, Shut my up. feet stink at night. <laughs> at, night? at night? What? Only <laughs> at night, dude, it's a wizard curse. <laughs> he traded himself for stinky feet in bed. It runs in the family. <laughs> oh, no. I get it. It runs in the family. <laughs> So that's why it always smells every night when we're near you. Yeah. Uh. Okay. No, but seriously, what the fuck is wrong? I don't know. And then we both roll over, and I'm like, "Well, you look like you haven't slept a lot, bro. You good?" And hey, go breakfast rooms. What? I'm in your room. What do you mean? You're in my room. I bought my own room. No. Yeah. Wait. 
You two are in the same room. <laughs> we're in the same room. I slept in your bed, dumbass. That's what's wrong. Do you think <laughs> fucking Wilhelm's here? He's in a different room, bro. Oh. Well, huh? Why do you have a? Huh? What's the act over? What? You okay? What? Don't you have an axe? Don't you have an axe? I'm standing in your doorway. So you had an axe? I'm very confused. I have multiple weapons. Would you like to see oh. them? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> well, this whole interaction is going on, Bacchus. You've you've just had a a, a nice breakfast, and now the uh, shopkeeper's kind of like. <laughs> Let's go. We have we have to go now. The line's already starting to form. There are many people that want to want to meet your meet you and and uh, get your book signed. Crack my knuckles. I say shopkeep, baby. Let's roll. And uh, we go and we start start uh, signing them them puppies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Wilhelm is standing in our doorway. Wilhelm, what the fuck is up? <laughs> yeah, what do you want? <laughs> Me. And why are you? Why are you? Why are your eyes so bloodshot? I'm up. Why? Why are your eyes so bloodshot? I've been up for hours. Why don't you sleep? Uh, yeah, why don't you sleep? Two things: an incredibly loud snore and a terrifying smell. <laughs> What's, what's the one keeping you up? I just told you. Oh, both. Nice. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear any snoring, so you must be crazy. The smell is his feet, though, as I, like, hold up one of your foot. It's what's not nighttime it? anymore. <laughs> are, they, are they normal again? Yes. Yo. Okay, Wait, hang on. I'm confused about this curse. Is it just your, in the PM your your feet stink, or in the AM like the time? early yeah, AM? No, only, no. Is it only, only when you're in bed sleeping? Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you have to be asleep for them to stink. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? But it still lingers a little bit. So. <laughs> <laughs> there's, like a, there's like an aura as it clears up. Smells like old Hardee's and garlic bread in here. <laughs> <laughs> I love garlic bread. Let's go. Of course you like garlic bread, you stupid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to go into town. I'm kind of hungry. I yeah, block your way. Breakfast. I block your way. You I, I could just push you. I block your way. I push Wilhelm out of the way. You'll all see. I walk <laughs> away and I'm dragging the blunt end of my axe on the ground as I go downstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's out and you can tell Matt's angry. <laughs> Matt's just my morning wood at this point. Yo. You can tell he's angry. <laughs> uh, so you guys, you guys go downstairs. Yeah, you see yeah. most of the other. There's not many people in the uh, tavern right now. It's the morning. Um, you see uh, the the uh, tavern owner. She goes, "Oh, hey, do you guys want you guys want a breakfast? Uh, we, we we're serving breakfast for uh, one coin." Yeah. Yeah. I would love breakfast. I have a unibrow. Is, that's not fair. Yes. Get him breakfast. <laughs> get extra extra caffeine to wake him up. She gives you a thumbs up, turns around, uh, plates you guys up, up some breakfast, and uh, gives Wilhelm some uh, extra strong coffee. I take one yeah. of my potion vial dropper kits out, and I stick it in the coffee and put it directly in my eyes. <laughs> 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 I um while that's happening I hand the lady a coin and I'm like thanks for breakfast that's delicious I'm gonna eat it and then I eat it okay nom, nom, while nom, you guys nom. are eating you notice again Marae dart down out of the uh the upstairs of the uh she was tavern and and dart out of the building running off somewhere again and I literally I, I see this happen and I go guy he was literally here <laughs> And I get up with, like, the last bit of my bread, and I run out the fucking door after her. Like, I just got okay. gone. Okay. I don't even open the door. I just run through it. Like, <laughs> I mean, if it breaks, it breaks. That's my bad. I'll come back and... Two gold coins. Later. Yeah. I okay, look, where, where o I look over at the wizard who's still at the bar with me or whatever the fuck <laughs> and just go, zoomies. And then I look this way <laughs> just <straight> forward again. <laughs> zoomies, man. Okay. <clears throat> 
Uh, yeah, I'm out the door, dude. I don't so you guys, are you guys just gonna sit in there? Yeah, I'm eating my food. You're eating your food. Okay. I fall over backwards. It's <laughs> <laughs> making me sick. Wait, you know where did, I went? did Zelda eat all? Of, or not Zelda? Did <laughs> Dorothy <laughs> eat all her food, or is there stuff? Yeah. Bro, you ate it that quick. It was like a yeah. span of two seconds. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's been a bit of time for you guys to eat your food. It's, it was like 12, eight, 12 t- 15 seconds. Damn, I wanted to steal a piece of bread for when you came back. Are you doubting the oh, vacuum? I took the, I took the bread with you. I took the <laughs> bread with me. What do you mean? You didn't eat it already? What the fuck? <clears throat> Well, I had you know a little bit of the little snack. I'm on the chase after the cat girl with the weird snake. All right, during this time, during during this beginning of this chase, it seems, uh, Bacchus, you've been kind of signing a couple books for a little bit now. Uh, some of the lines seem to disperse a bit, not by much, but <clears throat> the the one thing you've noticed from this village is it seems a lot of the uh, the readers are children. And as you're going about doing this, the this chase seems to plow through through your crowd and through this shop. All right, so I've I've seen some people chasing a a, a cat person. Well, I'm mm-hmm. you know diligently working uh mm-hmm. to sign to sign these books for my the the adoring masses here and uh i'm thinking hey you know what's going on so i say all right listen up you crowd of adoring fans i say hurry up get your book signed i'm signing like 20 more of these my hand is cramping up <laughs> I'm tired, okay? I want to go see what's going on with this cat and these weirdos, and, uh, you know, maybe this will be you know, my next volume, so you know, keep uh, keep a uh, weather eye open for that one. Uh, I finish up, and then I'm, you know, I'm on the prowl. Okay, you're, you're going to follow? Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> at that point, can I walk by with my mug of coffee still and just look over Wait, at him? walking backwards? <laughs> what? You said you were going to follow backwards. No, I fell over out of the bar stool backwards was the joke, everyone. Oh, I thought you said follow I'm gonna, I, I'm not no. chasing Mire. I'm, I'm just stupid. walking idly behind you. <laughs> Casually. And then I just stop, look over, and go, ha, must be this tall to read, I guess, and keep walking as I sip my <laughs> coffee. <laughs> uh, that's not very nice. Uh, 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 fucking height. I was going to say, <laughs> that's what makes it funny. Fuck off. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm the same height as you two. Listen, you said that they, they were mostly the children. Kid. That was the quip. I'm sorry. I'm going to oh, keep walking. Oh, you did. You did call them children. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, so. Okay. Plus, During nobody this... heard me. That was just, that was just for my benefit. <laughs> oh, okay. Like under your. All right, you're, you're right. What, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm following Wilhelm with two par, uh, strong coffees in my hand. Good plan, bro. Why do you need coffee? What the fuck? For him. Oh, oh, you're just supplying now. Okay, yeah. so nice. as you as you're all together now and going after the cat, you you seem to have lost her. Again, God, I'm so bad at this shit. Fuck. I reach over for one of the for one of the coffees and say, "Reload." <laughs> what would you guys like to do in trying to find the cat? Uh, make a perception check for arrows. For um, arrows. Anybody got gonna, any catnip? I'm gonna climb to the top of any any big building near me and scout around. Nineteen plus five. You all yeah, suddenly a hear a scream, and then a snap. A snap. Everything goes dark for all of you. God damn it! I knew oh, coffee God. wasn't for me. <laughs> this is gonna take a moment because this is where the uh, parties are gonna be split for a second here. So I have to do some work in Discord for a second. Oh, you're actually separating us? <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> 
Last time I got separated, I think I got kidnapped. I don't like the way this is going. Oh, evil. I don't like that an evil voice channel was just created. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, it's not an actual voice channel, though. My bad. Voice. Evil. Evil oil. <laughs> that works. That'll be the name of the next okay. villain. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I, I, I had the urge to... Uh, I had the urge to... Uh, <laughs> 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 